Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get Uplay games working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you want to play various Windows games using Ubisoft Connect, which used to be called Uplay, then this tutorial is going to help you understand how to do this. We're going to show you the full tutorial from start to finish of how to install Crossover, how to enable Game Porting Toolkit, and then how to install Windows games through the Ubisoft Connect launcher. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you click the link and make a purchase, then I'll make a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, we'll be taken to the store page or you can go to codeweavers.com and click on buy now. I do recommend making a purchase of Crossover Plus, which comes with 12 month support. If you want to get a discount, then make sure to use the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New and just apply here. And then you're going to get a 20% discount. And anyway, once already, you can click the buy now button and then you can go ahead and fill out your details. Alternatively, if you want to try this out, you can also go to the Code Weavers website, click the try now button, and then you can fill out these details and get a fully featured 14 day free trial. So that's what we're going to do today. Here we're downloading Crossover 23.5, which is the latest at the time of recording. So once Crossover is downloaded, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our Downloads folder. We want to find our Crossover zip file here. So all we need to do is double click. It's going to extract. And then we have the Crossover app here. We're going to drag and drop this and put this into our Applications folder. Once that's copied over, we'll click on Applications and then we're going to scroll until we find the Crossover app. So go ahead and double click. Here it's saying Crossover is an app downloaded from the internet are we sure we want to open? Press open. So once this is open, we've got the option to install applications and games. And then we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in Ubisoft. And then we're going to install Ubisoft Connect. So we're going to go ahead and install this. It's going to download the Ubisoft Connect installer and then install it into a Windows 7 64 bit bottle called Ubisoft Connect. Just let that finish. So here, Ubisoft Launcher is asking us to select a language, press OK. And then we're just going to go through the entire setup process of the Windows version of Ubisoft Connect. Press Next, and then click on Run Ubisoft Connect. So this is the Windows version of Ubisoft Connect. So now it's asking us to log in. We can either create a new account if you don't have one already, or just log into your existing account. Click the Login button. We're going to skip two-step verification. Here it's saying initializing. So now this window has come up and this is basically the Windows version of Ubisoft Connect. And what you want to do is to close the launcher first so that this can complete running. So I'm going to close this, make sure we exit the application. And once it exits, then Crossover will be able to complete this installation of Ubisoft Connect. And then we can also change some settings too. So for example, we can tweak D3D Metal Game Porting Toolkit 1.1 on. We can also turn on eSync or MSync. We're going to use MSync here, which is one of the new features of Crossover 23.7. And and basically what we're going to do is to relaunch Ubisoft Connect with these features turned on. We're going to allow Ubisoft to access our downloads folder. Now it's saying it's logging in and initializing again. So now we're back into the Ubisoft launcher and now we're ready to go ahead and download the Windows versions of various games. So obviously not every single game is going to work. I'm going to download the game Far Cry 6. So there's a trial version that you can try this on and then just click add to my games. And if you wanted to, you can also buy this as well. So now that Far Cry 6 trial has been activated on our account. I'm going to press the download button and then we'll press continue. And then if we wanted to, you can also download the HD texture pack. It's really up to you. Let's continue. And then we're going to download the Far Cry trial into our Ubisoft bottle. Here we're going to agree to the De Nouveau end user licensing agreement. And now it's saying it's initializing download. So it's downloading 26.3 gigabytes. So just let that complete before we can move on to the next step. So now that the game is fully downloaded, what we're going to do is press the play button here and it's going to go ahead and launch. So it's going to be downloading any dependencies, synchronizing save games with the cloud, then press play. So here we can see the Far Cry 6 splash screen come up. The Windows version of Far Cry 6 manages to run really well on the Apple Silicon Mac. You know, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other crossover videos and other tutorials on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.